Hello, I am Priscilla and I am your conversational English coach. I hope that you will enjoy this session as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you. The title of our topic for today is Cloning of Pets. Cloning of Pets. This lesson is rich with vocabulary. I hope we will engage very deeply in conversation, discussions, and a building of a substantial vocabulary. Thank you for joining me today. Hello, Bob. How are you today? And welcome. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Priscilla. How I'm are fine. you? Thank you. Great. Fine, thank you. Great. It's nice to what see you. What about you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Thank you thank for asking. You. So, uh, Bob, is this your first class with me? I, I think so. Okay. Well, I hope that you will enjoy today's session. What is your level of English? Actually, I don't know. I think intermediate. Intermediate? Fantastic. Actually, it doesn't really matter. I'm just asking, just just get a general census. My lesson will be great for beginners, intermediate, and advanced. A conversational okay. English coach, which is what I am, is the one that will help all levels of students engage in the ability to speak very easily with native English speakers or with anyone that is speaking in English. So I hope you enjoyed the journey. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Hello, uh, Mohammed. How are you? I believe Mohammed is here. Hi, Ali. How are you? Yes, I'm doing well. Thanks. Okay. It's great to see you. Yes, and. Nice to meet you. Okay. What did you get accomplished yesterday, Mohammed? Did you accomplish anything? Did you do something interesting, Mohammed, yesterday? Are you talking to me? Well, I was asking Mohammed, but I'll ask you since he's not answering. Did you do something that was interesting yesterday, Ali? No, no, I was saying at home at um, and, uh, Oh, yeah. what yeah. happened to... Yay! I'm doing English! Tell me, you practice your English. That wouldn't have been exciting. Yes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing uh, just learning English. 
All right. So in your last class that you had with me, what do you remember? Oh uh, yeah, something, some uh, sentence. Um, I think that uh, we're unable to uh, open the door. Okay. Yeah. Duty. Duty. <laughs> Okay. All right. That sounds good. It was dotty though, not duty. Yeah, dot, yeah, yeah. Dotty. 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 Yeah. Okay. Hello, Antu. How are you? I'm fine. Nice to see you again. And the same here. Happy to see you yeah. always. Happy to see you always. All right. I'm going to give you, you all, uh, a number, and this yeah. will expedite our interaction. Ali, you will be number one. Mohammed. If Mohammed shows up, he will be will be number two, um, and two will be number th three. And let's see, Bob, you will be number four. All right, I'm going to share my screen and we'll get started. If I didn't say Bob, my name I am Priscilla. I said that, but I am a native English speaker. I love teaching online. I am a certified teacher here in the states of. North Carolina. Today is very rainy and humid. Other than that, it is a fabulous day. Oh, sorry, are you talking to me? Uh, yes, I was just introducing myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. But, oh, that's okay. I, I have some problem with the internet connection, so it's difficult to mm -hmm. uh, listen oh. to everything. Okay, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. All right, I want you all to take a look at this picture, and you should be able to see the word cloning of pets. I want you to think for about 10 seconds, and I'm going to ask each of you, what does the word cloning of pets mean to you? Okay, so Ali, could you tell yes. me what does the word cloning of pets mean to you? Yes, I think that uh, making uh, something um, or not making, creating uh, a something same as uh, the, the standard or the, yeah, it's create a something the same as uh, uh, the, the old one. Okay. So, Ali, can you see what I just wrote? Yeah, I see. Can you read that for me? Cloning is the same as make as exact copy of the same original. Okay. So when I said the same, you could either say the word same <coughs> or original. Cloning is the, is the same as creating because it's a creating. It's a creating. Yeah. <coughs> I'm going to ask you what cloning means later today. And I want you to be able to tell me what cloning is without reading it, okay? Yeah, okay. Can you tell it to me now without reading it? Yeah. Cloning is the same as creating as an, an exact copy of the same. Okay, and I'm trying to get a really good sentence. Cloning is the same as creating an exact copy of the original. Let's just put in the original. That yeah. makes more sense. So, Ali, tell me what is cloning? Yeah. Cloning is the same as creating an exact copy of the original. Are you reading? No. Okay. The first, the first sentence. Sorry. Okay. I d yeah, I don't want you to read it. I want you to. I don't want you yeah. to read it. I want you to tell it to me. Yeah, Ali, cloning. What? Yeah. Ali, what's cloning? Yeah, cloning is the same as a creating um, an exact copy of the of the original. Very good. You see how that flow can come when you know exactly what you want to say? So, Ali, yeah. I, was, I was thinking of cloning my pet, but I didn't know exactly what cloning is. Can you tell me what cloning is? Yeah. 
drawing is uh, creating uh, as much as uh, creating uh, an exact copy of the original. Yeah, that's even better. So, what is cloning? Uh, is the same as uh, creating an uh, exact copy of the original. Okay. Now, is it clear in your mind what cloning is? Yeah. Okay. Tell me what cloning is. Yeah, cloning is, an, is, is the same as uh, creating an uh, exact copy of the original. Okay. Very nice. Right. Thank you very much for that. Look for me to ask you that same thing again. Okay. Let's see, did Mohammed show up yet? Maybe not. Well, Bob, I'm glad that you're here. So I want you to tell me, um, Bob, what is cloning? Oh, a cloning is same of creating uh, a copy of the orig of a, an original. Yep, that's c close enough. But I gave Ali a very good sentence. Did you see that sentence that I gave Ali? Yeah, Did red. But <laughs> yeah, uh, now yes. Okay. It's the same as creating an exact copy of the original. Of the original. Can you say the word original? Original. Mm -hmm. Now, can you tell me what cloning is without reading it? Cloning is the same as creating a copy original. Mm. Is it an exact copy? An exact copy. Oh copy of the original. Okay, so what is cloning? Cloning so cloning is the exact is the same uh, as creating uh, an exact copy of the original. Okay. Now Bob, please tell me what is cloning? Cloning is the same as creating an exact copy of the original. Okay. Are you reading? No. Okay. So tell me again very quickly. What's what's cloning? Cloning is the same as creating uh, the exact copy of the original. Okay. Thank you for that. Now, let's see what else we would like to know today. So, in order to read and understand what you're reading, I use the um, phrase C. Examine the situation, then examine the contextual clues, and evaluate the events. This is a coaching analysis objective. I am your conversational coach, and I'm going to help you see how to look at a situation, examine it for contextual clues, and evaluate the event. What I'd like for you to do, Bob, is to look at this picture and tell me what you see, and I only want you to describe one of these pictures. I want you to tell me that you see X number of pictures, and you're going to describe one of those. You can say, I'm going to describe the one in the center, the one at the top right, bottom right, top left, bottom left, or center bottom. Okay? okay should I just describe the situation in the pictures? Yes, but the first thing that I want you to do is tell me something like this. What I see in this picture is 12 pictures. And I'm going to describe the picture that is at the bottom of the page. Okay. okay. And then describe the picture. All right? Okay. In this page, I see six pictures. And I'm going to, to talk about the um, picture who is in the bottom of the page, the right bottom of the page, in which I can see a nose who is um, running, who uh, is uh, maybe in a countryside place uh, because I can see um, uh, grass uh, under his feet and um, is, uh, it is um, uh, it's brown and white and uh, its tail is it's moving. Mm, in the background, I can see some trees and maybe some houses. Okay. Now, I wrote something that I want you to say because what we're going to do is build your fluency in speaking. All right. Okay. So, I have given you something to say. So, Bob, this is what I want you to do. 
I want you to look at the picture above what I've just typed. Yes. And I want you to find a picture on the left. I want you to tell me where the picture is located on the left and then describe that picture. Okay. So I want you to say, I see six pictures on the page and I will describe the picture at the Okay, should I should I do the same? Uh... No. Okay. You. Okay. Okay, I see, and then six. Okay, I see six picture on the page, and I will describe the picture at the top corner uh, of the left corner of the page. Okay, which corner is it going to be? The top corner or the left corner? The top corner. Top corner of which, left or right? Left. أنا قلت إيه؟ أنا قلت إيه في اللي بقى التلفزيون؟ إيه في التلفزيون؟ آه ومش عايز بقى دوشة بقى. Okay. Now read read what I just wrote. Okay. I see six picture on the page and I will describe the picture. At the top corner of the left side of the page. Very nice. Did you read that or did you say it? Uh, I've just read it. Okay, I want you to say it now without reading. Okay, I see six pictures on the page and I will describe the, um, uh, the image uh, which is in the top corner on the, on the left side of the page. Okay. I wasn't sure. I got confused when you got closer to the bottom. Read it again. I mean, don't read it, but tell it to me again. Okay. I see six pictures on the page, and I will describe the picture at the top left of the page. Something like okay. that, but I want it to be flowing nicely. Okay. I see six pictures in the page, and I will describe the that one, uh, which is in the left uh, side of the page, in the top corner. Okay. Now describe the picture. Okay. As uh, as we can see, um, there's a, a kitten who wears a hat. Uh, he's uh, in a pail. Uh, in a pail. And maybe four things about the cat will be fine. Okay. Continue. Okay. Just four things. Is uh, it's surrounded by flowers. And uh, it stares to the photo, to the um, observer. Okay, uh, Bob, you notice. I mean, I heard you say, "As you can see, when you're describing something, something, it doesn't mean that we can see it." So, okay, you probably wouldn't want to say that. You would just want to say, "I see six pictures on the page, and at the top left of the page is a cat, and the cat has." I don't know, whatever it is that you wanted to know. All okay. right? Good. Now, let's see. Antu, are you still with us? Antu? Yeah. Okay, good. Antu, can you look at this page and read all of these words and tell me which one of these words do you not know? State, the same bullet, company, go. Clown, president, cat, is pre is pre maintain maintain, client, donor, price, pip, veterinarian, bio biopsy, sales, extras, facility. Great. Do you know what each one of these words mean? Mm, yes, but um. Thirteen. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know this. Okay, good. Let's take a look and see what thirteen will be. Thirteen is going to be veterinarian, and we're going to look mm -hmm. down here. Do you see picture number six? It's like doctor for the pet. Okay, what is that doctor doing? Uh, check health of the pet. Very good. And that's what a veterinarian does. He checks the health of a pet. Yeah. Veterinarian. 
veterinarian. Veteri veterinarian. 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 Mm -hmm. And then you say it quickly, veterinarian. Veterinarian. That's a veterinarian. But we always call them vets because it's too mm -hmm. long. We just call yeah. them vets, and that's the same um, thing. Okay? Yes. So, Ali, you see this veterinarian here? Number six, Ali? Yeah, yeah, I see. I see we, t we talked about cloning a little while ago. What is cloning? <laughs> uh, it's a creating uh, as an exact copy of the origin. Yes! Very good. Now, Bob, do you know what cloning means? Is creating uh, the exact copy of the original. Okay, good. Now, I would like to have an exact copy of this little picture here, right? You see this little picture? I'd like to have an exact copy of it. Who do you think I could get to do that for me? Bob? Oh, maybe you should find a, co a company that um, work in uh, cloning. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's an idea. But I was thinking maybe I could get someone else to do it that wouldn't, and I wouldn't have to look so far. Who on this list do you think? might be able to do it for me. Who on this list do you think might be able to make my might be able to clone my cat? To me? Are you asking to me? Yes, Bob. Who okay. do you think who do you think I can get to clone my cat? I think maybe the veterinarian. Yes. The veterinarian would be a great choice for me to look at cloning my pet. And why would I want to choose a veterinarian? Sorry? Why would I want to choose a veterinarian? Because he's a doctor who looks after pets. Very good. That is correct. Thank you. Let's see. Thank you. Let's see here. All right. So now we're going to go back to the top. We've had a little bit of discussion. We know what cloning is because Ali can tell us, but in case we have forgotten, Ali, what is cloning? It's the same as creating uh, an exact or a copy of other. Okay. What is cloning, Ali? It's the same as uh, creating an exact copy of the origin. Very good. Now we're going to look at some vocabulary. On to, I want you to look at number one and number two. And I want you to tell me what number two says, though. Tell me what this picture says. What is written on picture number two? The picture number two is uh, um, elk. Okay. It looks like an elk. What is this word down here? Mating call. What does that mean? Uh, means um, uh, they uh, mean... Uh, it's like he grow up, uh, she grow up and become a girl. I don't know how to say, but uh, <laughs> men can born baby or. Okay, she can she can become pregnant with a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She can be, become pregnant with a baby. Okay, now. Yeah. I don't think the females would have these on their head. So I, don't, <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think he's going to get pregnant. <laughs> but I think. I think he's looking for a wife, though. Yeah. Yeah, so he's looking for a wife, so he's putting out a mating call. And when you put out a mating call, that means he's ready to have a, give someone the wonderful opportunity of having his baby. And yeah. you can only have his baby if you go through one of these processes. The female has to be going through one of these processes in order to have his baby. I want you to look at number one and tell me what letter would be um, number one E the C price mm -hmm. and number two E H estrus. Very good. One is C and two is H. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. 
I want um, Ali, could you look at this one and tell me what is three and four? Yes, I think that three is um, third. Okay, which one is it? Um, three, four cells, a G. Okay. Yeah, and four for uh, facility. Very good, that is correct. Three is cells. C is cells, come on. C is cells, and four is facility. Mm, facility. Very good. Come on. Well, that takes a little long. Okay, that is correct. Bob, could you look at this and tell me? Five and six. What is five and six? Okay. Five could be... Um, uh, oh, wait a minute. Um... Okay, what is five and six? Uh, I, I will start from the six, which is veterinarian. Okay. And five, I think, is the D, steep, but I don't know what does steep mean. Okay, that's interesting that you chose five D, but you don't know what it is, what the steep means. Why did you say five D if you didn't know what it is? How did you come to, to that? Because I can understand all of the all the words. Okay, that's a good good guess. Steep means uh, hill. It's going up. Steep, steep is going okay. up. The word steep means to go up. Okay. okay. Thank you. And I just want to check something for steep. Make sure that I'm telling you right. It's a rising or falling at a sharp angle. It's a steep slope. So this is a slope. It could be going up or it could be going down, but it is steep. It's very okay. sharp. Good Quickly. answer. Yeah. Good answer. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now let's take a look at number seven and eight. And can you answer? Tell me. Number seven. The seven and eight. Uh, F. Biopsy. Okay, seven is biopsy. Okay. And eight is donor. B. And eight is B. Very nice. Good. What is biopsy? What do you mean biopsy? Um, Aunt Antu, can you tell, can you tell Bob what the meaning of biopsy is? Ali, Ali. Ali. Can you tell Ali? I was biopsy. I, I when I see the picture, I I think that is could be um put something uh put something inside and then trick and mm -hmm. cure, right? Okay. So she said she looked at the picture, and it looks like they're picking something out, and that's exactly what they're doing. They're taking a piece of tissue and they're going to put it under a microscope and see what's wrong. So biopsy is to examine some part of a living, <coughs> of a living cell. And here is the definition of biopsy as well. Okay? Okay. 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 Now, uh, Ali, can you tell me what is the correct answer for nine? What is the correct answer for number nine? I think that the client. A for client. Okay, client. Client. Can you say client? Client. Very good. Client. And that is correct. The word is client. 9A. Bob, can you tell me what is 10 and 11? 
Okay, uh, then is the hay state and the land, I think it could be uh, successful. The okay, B. okay, we're going to go with B11. Okay. And do can you tell me what 12 and 13 is? 12 B, E, clone. And thirteen e company C. Okay, very nicely done. And we're still examining contextual clues. These pictures are our clues. This is what is helping us to determine what these words might be. Uh, Ollie, can you tell me fourteen and fifteen? Yeah. Fourteen for uh, B successful, and fifteen for um, cat G. So number fourteen could be goal or successful, which would be D. Or B, okay. Yeah. Uh, on on two, can you do sixteen and seventeen? <clears throat> sixteen e president and seventeen e H is parliamentin. Nice, very nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So you all are doing very well with your contextual clues. Now we're going to read. Bob, could you read first? Could you read this cloning of pets? Yes, sure. C could you please uh, zoom a little bit the page? I can. Let's see. Let's see. Go back to the page. And let's see if this is better. Oh, uh, anyway, I will. Ch okay, thank you. Okay. Cloning of pets. A company in Phoenix, Arizona, oh, says. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was trying to remove a box, and then I think I removed too much. Don't worry. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. A company in Phoenix, Arizona, says that it can now clone your cat. Actually, said Felix Lee, president of Twice is Nice, Inc., you don't even have to wait until your beloved cat dies. We, we already have clients whose clone lives with its donor. The price is steep. A clone of your cat will cost five, uh, 50000 first. Your veterinarian must do a biopsy of your cat. This is sent to Twin Inc., where it's culture to grow fresh new cells. These new cells are stored in liquid nitrogen until you notify Twin Inc. that you are ready for the clone. At this time, you pay half the amount, $25,000. Okay. Now, Bob, earlier you chose the cat to describe. Would you like to pay $25,000 to have a cat just like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, would you pay 5000 <laughs> No. Would you pay more than any amount? What amount would you be willing to pay? I won't pay an amount. I would <laughs> take another cat, maybe. Okay, you would you would not have another cat. Hmm, yeah, that's sure. that's interesting. All right, you said this word steep. Steep. Now you know what this word is, correct? The price is steep. I think okay. it is, it's growing up uh, very quickly. Okay, and the price is very the price is steep. In this case, it just means that the price is very high. Okay. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean in this case that it is it is increasing very quickly. It just means that it is going up, or okay. not even going up. It just means that the price is very high. 
the word steep is is high, go, something going very high up in the sky, or something going very low, but it's at an angle. Um, what I want to point out to you all, so I'll come back again, so that it is clear. As a conversational English coach, most often you will find that I'm giving you something to read, and in the context of the paragraph the story that we're reading, I want you to understand fully the definition that is suitable for this story. So steep has many meanings, Bob, but in this story, I want you to clearly know what the meaning of steep means. So it doesn't have to do, it does not have anything to do with going up quickly or going down quickly. In this story, the word steep only means something that is high or something that costs a lot. All right? Okay. So you Got understand, it. in this story, in this story, it doesn't mean going up quickly. It just means that it is something that is very high or something that is very costly. All right? Okay. Thank you. Sorry, but I, I, I need to, the other uh, word of steep is like when I uh, figure out the graph and... Um, um, it's like steep and the uh, other word is normal, not okay. very steep. Okay. What, what, what? That could what? be, but that could be, I'm not telling you that that is correct and I'm not saying that it is incorrect, but what I do want you to know as a conversational English coach, it is better for us to get you to understand things in specific situations. Once you understand it in this situation, when you see this word again, you'll know, well, it's not quite the same thing, but it's spelled the same way. Then you'll learn what it means in that situation. Okay? Yeah. So I don't want to confuse you today with another situation because I'm only talking about one situation. Whatever. However, what could happen is that you could have a very solid understanding of steep in many situations and you can make that adjustment yourself but for those who are here and they may not know but one steep it is better to know the one steep correctly and use it that way than to know many and use them all incorrectly okay, okay. okay. and here's an example one of my students said to me something about benign and I was trying to figure out what did she mean about benign? She was talking about the way that my writing and the way my she interpreted what I was saying, that benign, it was very good. But I went through that process that I associated benign with cancer. So I was trying to get, what is she saying? That there was something wrong with my voice? Um, did she think I had a disability or something? Then I said, oh, benign means good. So she was saying that my writing is good. But because she used benign, it took me to a place where I was confused. Yeah, so yeah. I only want to talk to you today about steep in this situation. Okay? Okay. okay? All right. So I want you to fully understand how to use steep when we're talking about something that is costly. Like I bought a car uh, eight years ago, and the price was steep. I needed a car, so I still had to buy the car at the steep price. Okay. Yeah, it was a very high high price car. Now, all right, and here, where it is culture to grow fresh new cells. I think you call this word something else, but you do know that the word is grow. All right. Do you have any questions about this passage, Bob? Give me no. Okay. No, thank you. Great. Okay, so now we're going to listen to Ali. Ali, would you read? Yeah. Yeah. A, co a, a company in Phoenix, Arizona, says that it can now clone your cat. Actually, said Felix Lee, president of Twice is Nice, Inc., you don't even have to wait until your beloved, uh, beloved cat dies. We already have a client whose clone lives with its donor. Okay, this word is lives, lives. Lives, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
we are already have a client whose clone lives with its donor. The price is steep. A clone of your cat will cost a fifty thousand dollars. First, your veterinarian must do a biopsy of your cat. Okay, this word is biopsy. 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 Yeah, mm -hmm. biopsy. Yeah, biopsy of your cat. This is sent to Twin Inc. where it's culture to grow fresh new cells. These new cells are stored in a liquid nitrogen until you notify a Twin Inc. That's why we are ready. We are ready for the clone. At this time, we pay half the amount. At uh, twenty-five thousand uh, dollars, a culture cell is uh, implanted into a female cat that in uh, estrus, and es if es estrus, 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 estrus. Mm -hmm. yeah. If all goes well, a kitten. It's born about a sixty days late. The new cotton is born is about eight eight weeks. When Ink delivers the kitten to you after it receives the remaining twenty five thousand dollars. We are growing company, said Lee. Our facility can handle about a dozen pairs a year now. But our goal is to produce about 50 kittens and 50 puppies a year. The company is currently experiment, experimenting with stray dogs. Some canyon clones seem to be perfect, but okay, some this have... Word, this word is pronounced K9. 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 Okay. K9. Some canine clones seem to be perfect, but some have been bizarre. Never, nevertheless, nevertheless, we believe that they will be successfully cloning dogs in about a year. Okay. So, how many of these stray dogs would you like to have, uh, Ali? What? 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 How many of these clone dogs would you like to have as your pet? Actually, I don't know. I don't. Um, uh, I don't love a cat or um, dogs. Okay. Would you like to have a clone? Would you like to have a clone fish? Clone fish. <laughs> 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 you would. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I don't know is. Uh, You'd have to pay about forty thousand dollars for it, though. Yeah, there are very, very steep price and very expensive. Oh, have. I like. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you yeah. used the word. It's a very steep price. Thank you. That lets me know that you understand how to use that word. Now, tell me about this cloning, Ali. What exactly is cloning? It's the same as a creating as uh, an exact, um, exact copy of the origin. Okay. Now, Ali, I want to tell you what you're doing. I know that you know what cloning means. I know that you know what it means. I know in my heart that you know what it means. But your brain is trying to tell you something in your native language. So you have to keep fighting it back until you can get it out quickly. Yeah. What is cloning, Ali? As the same as a creating uh, as an exact copy of the origin. Okay. So tell me what is cloning, Ali? As a creating uh, an exact copy of the origin. Mm -hmm. So what you've got to say is, brain, shut up, be quiet. Yeah. Cloning yeah. is an exact copy of the original. And your native language is going to try to tell you, and you say, stop. Cloning is, so what is cloning, Ali? Yeah. It's the uh, same as creating uh, an exact copy of the origin. Okay. All right. Very nice. And Antu, can you read for us? Yeah. I'll try to make it a little larger for you, just one second. But I have a question. What's the meaning of canine? Or... Oh, canine is a dog. 
It's just a dog. K9 is a dog, and it's just pronounced K9. But K9 is a dog. That's all it is. It's a dog. Yeah, and estrus. Estrus? Uh, estrus is when an animal is ready to reproduce. Okay? So okay. when when females go through these stages of, of their cells are ready to reproduce, that's called estrus. And it's pronounced... Mm -hmm. It's pronounced. Uh, it's pronounced like this. Yes. Yes. Okay. You see how yeah. it's pronounced? It's pronounced estrus. All right. Estrus. Estrus. Okay, Antu. Yeah. Could you read for me? Yeah. A company in Phoenix, Arizona, said uh, says that it can now clone your cat. Actually, said. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Antu, I want, yeah. you to, I want you to slow down your reading. You read very well, but you're reading too fast for me to yeah. understand. So when you get to a period, I want you to say in your brain, in your mind, one, two, three. A company in Phoenix, one, two. Arizona, one, two. Says that it can now clone your cat. One, two, three. Actually, one, two. Said Felix Lee, one, two. President of Twice as Nice, one, two, Inc., one, two. You don't even have to wait until your beloved cat dies, one, two, three. Okay, try it again. A yeah. company? A company in Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Phoenix. Ah, uh, Phoenix. Mm hmm good. Arizona says that it can now clone your cat. Actually, said Felix Lee, president of Twice in Nice. Is nice. In nice. In you don't even have to wait until your beloved cat dies. We already have clients who can't live like a uh, clone live with its donor. This word is clone. Clone, clone, live. clone lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clone lives. Okay. The price is steep. A clone of your cat will cost fifty thousand dollar. Dollars, dollars. Do dollar. Mm hmm. First. Fifty thousand okay. dollars. Uh, mm -hmm. Good. First, your veterinarian. Veterinarians. Yes. Yeah. Must do a by a biopsy. By biopsy. By biopsy. Biopsy. Biopsy of your cat. This is sent to twins. In, where the culture to grow fresh new cells. These new cells are stored in liquid nitrogen until ni you... Ni nitrogen. Nitro nitrogen. Mm -hmm. Until you notify twins in that you're ready for the clone. At that time, you pay half the amount, $25. Twenty-five thousand dollars. Twenty-five thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. Continue. I cannot see. It. Okay. Let me put you down here so you can read it better here. Store it here at that one. Um. Uh, I still okay. Now I can move this up. Then how about that? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. A cultural cell is implanted into a female cat that is in estrus. And if all goes well, a kitten is born about 60 days later. The new kitten is witted, witter, weaned. 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 Mm -hmm. mm. In about eight weeks, twins in delivers 
the kitten to you after it receives the remaining $25,000. We are a growing company. Sadly, our facility, our facility can handle about a dozen birds a year now. But our goal is to produce about 50 kittens and 50 puppies a year. The company is currently experimenting with stray dogs. Some can I clone it? K9. 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 K9 clone is seem to be perfect, but some have been bizarre. 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 Ne never, never to list. Leaf believes that they will be successfully cloning dogs in about a year. In about a year. Okay. Thank you very much for reading. Mm -hmm. And your reading and your reading improved very much when you started to pause at the periods mm -hmm. and the in the commas. I want to take a second now and thank each of you for participating in today's session. It was my pleasure to be of service to you. At the end of class, I always try to leave time for the final words. Ali, what words would you like to leave us with today about today's lesson or anything else you would like for us to know? Ali, are you there? Unmute your microphone. Yeah, and I'm here. Okay, what final words would you like to yeah. leave? I'm looking at the clock because I'll need to leave to get to my next class. Alan, what final words do you have for us today? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's my glad to be uh, with you um, again. Okay. But I need to um, um, how to improve my language uh, very quickly. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, well for twenty. Yeah, if, yeah, you do. if you ha if you have twenty, no. if you have twenty five thousand dollars, I'll make another one of you, and I'll teach that one here. Here, I'll teach the other one of you here at my house, and then I'll send that clone on to you. How about that? Will that work for you? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it's very well. It's but, very I need, but I need, but I need twenty five thousand dollars first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, the the quickest way to build your ability to speak English fast and correctly is to practice every day, about 18 hours a day. You have to consume English. Eat it, sleep it, drink it, think it. You're nothing but English. Okay. And to final words, please. Um. Uh, I really thank you about your uh, your lesson, and I think you are a really good teacher. And <laughs> and you. the way, yeah, the way you teach, I can remember the vocabulary. Before, I was so difficult to remember the vocabulary. After mm -hmm. I I study, and in few hours, <laughs> I, I will forget it. But now I can remember. So thank you a lot. Uh, yeah. Thank you for sharing. And Bob, what are your final words before we leave today? Yes, first of all, I want to thank you uh, for your method. That is uh, really strange uh, to start, but then I think it works. But I have a question about a passage that in that we read. Okay. I see the expression, 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 expression that uh, speaking said uh, our company. Uh, can handle 50 puppets a year, okay. but uh, sometimes I see the expression per year. Okay. Like, uh, and write I in the chat. Okay, that's okay. You don't have to write it. I understood. Bob, I want to okay. tell you that I am a conversational English coach. That question would be better served to present it to a grammarian coach because I say per. I will say whichever seems whichever one gets to my mouth first. I just want to make sure that it comes out naturally and you're understanding. So, uh, so either way, okay. I think I think that you're understanding. So there is a diff there is a difference between a grammar coach and a conversational coach. Our purposes are different. 
of course, I believe that you need to understand how to speak the language before you focus on learning the language. But in most foreign countries, there's not a native speaker there. And so it's very easy to look in a book and teach someone how to use the grammar. And I have my experience has shown me that most language learners are very good at grammar. I just know how to speak. Okay, I gotta run, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Join yeah, me in my bye -bye. next. Thank you. Join my next bye. class if you can. Bye bye. Bye bye.